federal railroad safety inspectors documented more than 700 defects on CSX trains and tracks that run through Irwin, Johnson City, and Kingsport over a two-year period. And that's according to Nate Morabito's analysis of CSX inspection records linked to the company's local train yards. That's right, we obtained the federal findings through a Freedom of Information Act request. The Federal Railroad Administration believes there's the potential for every defect to become serious if not corrected. They're called defects to begin with because at one time in history, they were known to cause derailments. Comes the duck. Comes the birds. Come on, boys. The sounds of Dale Foster's farm. Come on. Go in out there. Never go get it. The braise clucks and quacks. All you said around here is the animals. Have largely replaced the sounds that once regularly came from these tracks. If you ever take animals out of here, he'd be dead silent. CSX closed its nearby Irwin Yard more than a year ago. But trains still make their way through the Valley Beautiful. About a third what we used to hear. Just not as many. But nothing like it used to be. No matter the number or the size. I've survived nine heart attacks, ain't nothing serious. The engines and their cargo don't concern this veteran. You know, I'm not gonna sit and worry about something that hasn't happened yet. The Federal Railroad Administration is trying to make sure that something never happens. Records show Federal Railroad Safety Inspectors documented hundreds of CSX defects in our region in 2014 and 2015. More than two dozen alone identified reported defects that weren't repaired. Among other issues, inspectors found a handful of problems with the main track itself, identified hazardous oil leaks on the locomotives, and inoperative brakes. Some visits found zero problems. Others found more defects than actual units inspected. The goal of inspections is to make sure that we have safe conditions at all times. David so, yeah, Clark is in charge of the Center for Transportation Research at the University of Tennessee, Knoxville. We have a, an expression or a saying in the railroad industry that rules are, are written in blood. The former railroad inspector says although any track defect could cause a derailment, it does present a danger. Most of the time, the risk is relatively low. It's far riskier to get in your car and drive to the local store than it is to have a railroad, you know, in your backyard. Federal records show CSX trains were involved in more rail equipment accidents over the last three years in Tennessee than any other rail company, one of those in Irwin. A CSX spokesperson told us the company's goal is to have zero accidents and injuries. Saying by email, safety is a way of life at CSX. We place the highest priority on the safety of the communities in which we operate. In addition to the company's regularly required inspections, CSX says it works with the FRA to quickly identify all federal findings and fix any issues in a timely manner. We have federal oversight to ensure that everybody plays by the rules. Clark says the end goal is to prevent accidents, injuries, or worse. We try to minimize the risk, and that's part of the regulatory philosophy. <laughs> Back on Foster's farm. He's afraid of the fences. I had an electric fence up. She won't come through. He knows these trains don't just come by his house. They go through the heart of East Tennessee State University and into Kingsport's industrial center. It's just one of them things that has to live with, the chance you take. But you won't hear him making any noise about it. Nate Morabito, News Channel 11, in your corner. CSX reports it spends more than a billion dollars a year on safety and reliability improvements. The company also says its employee training, technology, deployment and infrastructure investment, as well as inspection protocols typically exceed the standards set by the federal government. You can read CSX's full statement on WGHL.com.